ಇಡೀ ಜಗತ್ನಲ್ಲೇ ಯಾವುದು ಇದ್ರ ಮುಂದೆ ನಿಲ್ಲೋಕಾಗಲ್ಲ ಹೀಗಂತ ಡೊನಾಲ್ಡ್ ಟ್ರಂಪ್ ಘೋಷಿಸಿದ್ರು ಜಗತ್ತಿನ ಅತ್ಯಂತ ಬಲಿಷ್ಠ ಯುದ್ಧ ವಿಮಾನವನ್ನ ಅಮೆರಿಕ ಪರೀಕ್ಷೆ ನಡೆಸ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅದನ್ನ ತಯಾರಿಸೋ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ಬೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗೆ ಕೊಟ್ಟಾಗಿದೆ ಈ ಹೊಸ ಫೈಟರ್ ಜೆಟ್ ಹೆಸರು ಎಫ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಇದು ಆರನೇ ತಲೆಮಾರಿನ ಯುದ್ಧ ವಿಮಾನ ಆಗಿದೆ ಇದರ ವೇಗ ಅತ್ಯಾಧುನಿಕ ತಂತ್ರಜ್ಞಾನ ಸಾಮರ್ಥ್ಯಗಳ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಇನ್ನಷ್ಟೇ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗಬೇಕಿದೆ ಆದರೆ ಬೆಲೆ ಮಾತ್ರ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಯೋಜನೆಯ ಬಜೆಟ್ ರೀತಿ ಕಾಣುತ್ತೆ ಈ ಒಂದೇ ಒಂದು ಫೈಟರ್ ಜೆಟ್ ತಯಾರಿಸೋಕೆ ಅಂದಾಜು ಮುನ್ನೂರು ಮಿಲಿಯನ್ ಡಾಲರ್ ಖರ್ಚಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಸುಮಾರು ಎರಡು ಕೋಟಿ ರೂಪಾಯಿ ಅಮೆರಿಕವನ್ನ ಈ ಯುದ್ಧ ವಿಮಾನವು ಯುದ್ಧ ರಂಗದಲ್ಲಿ ಮುಂಚೂಣಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಲ್ಲಿಸೋ ಹಾಗೆ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಟ್ರಂಪ್ ವಿಶ್ವಾಸ ಆರನೇ ತಲೆಮಾರಿನ ಎಫ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಜೆಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ಐದು ವರ್ಷಗಳಿಂದ ಗುಟ್ಟಾಗಿ ಹಾರಾಟ ಪರೀಕ್ಷೆ ಮಾಡಲಾಗಿದೆ ಆದರೆ ಭಾರಿ ಬೆಲೆಯ ಈ ಫೈಟರ್ ಅನ್ನ ತಯಾರಿಸೋದೇ ಈಗ ಸವಾಲು ಸದ್ಯ ಅಮೆರಿಕದ ವಾಯುಪಡೆಗೆ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಬಲ ಆಗಿರೋದು ಎಫ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಫೈಟರ್ ಜೆಟ್ಗಳು ಆ ಒಂದು ಫೈಟರ್ ನ ಬೆಲೆ ಎಂಬತ್ತು ಮಿಲಿಯನ್ ಡಾಲರ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಸುಮಾರು ಆರ್ನೂರ ಕೋಟಿ ರೂಪಾಯಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಇದರ ನಾಲ್ಕು ಪಟ್ಟು ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಖರ್ಚು ಎಫ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ಗೆ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಇದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಹೆಚ್ಚಿನ ವಿವರ ಬಹಿರಂಗ ಆಗಿಲ್ಲ ದೊಡ್ಡ ರೆಕ್ಕೆಗಳು ಬಾಲ ಇರದ ಪಕ್ಷಿಯಂತೆ ಚಿತ್ರದಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾಣ್ತಿದೆ It's something uh, the likes of which uh, nobody has seen before in terms of all of the attributes of a fighter jet. There's never been anything even close to it from speed to maneuverability to what it can have to payload. And this has uh, been in the works for a long period of time. Uh, after a rigorous and thorough competition between some of America's top aerospace companies, the Air Force is going to be awarding the contract for the next generation air dominance platform uh, to Boeing. Uh, as you know, it was highly competed for. There was a lot of competition, generals, and uh, it's been going on for a long time. Very, very tough competition, but this plane is is produced numbers that nobody's ever seen before. The F-47 will be the most advanced, most capable, most lethal aircraft ever built. An experimental version of the plane has secretly been flying for almost five years, and we're confident that it massively overpowers the capabilities of any other nation. There's no other nation. We know every other plane. I've seen every one of them. And it's not even close. This is a next level. You know, level five is good. This is level six, they say. The F-47 is equipped with state-of-the-art stealth technology. It's virtually unseeable. and uh, unprecedented power. It's got the most power of any jet of its kind ever made. Maneuverability, likewise, is the uh, — there's never been anything like it, despite the power and speed. Uh, its speed is top. Uh, it's uh, over two, which is something that you don't hear very often. America's enemies will Never see it coming. Hopefully, we won't have to use it for that purpose, but you have to have it. And uh, if it ever happens, they won't know what the hell hit them. A new fleet of these magnificent planes will be built in the — and in the air during my administration over the next couple of years. It's ready to go. They've already built much of what has to be built in terms of production, including the sheds. We'll ensure that the USA continues to dominate the skies. We're given an order for ಮುಂದಿನ ಐದು ವರ್ಷಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಹೊಸ ಫೈಟರ್ಗಳು ಅಮೆರಿಕದ ವಾಯುಪಡೆಗೆ ಸೇರ್ಪಡೆಯಾಗಲಿವೆ ಬೋಯಿಂಗ್ನ ಫ್ಯಾಂಟಮ್ ವರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಇದನ್ನು ತಯಾರಿಸಲಿದೆ ಅಮೆರಿಕದ ಮಿಲಿಟರಿ ಜೊತೆಗೂ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಹಾಳು ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡಿರೋ ಬೋಯಿಂಗ್ಗೆ ಈ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ಜೀವದಾನಕ್ಕೆ ಸಮಾನವಾಗಿದೆ ನಷ್ಟದಲ್ಲಿ ಸೊರಕುತ್ತಿದ್ದ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗೆ ಎಫ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ತಯಾರಿಕೆಯು ಶಕ್ತಿ ತುಂಬಲಿದೆ ಇದು ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತು ಬಿಲಿಯನ್ ಡಾಲರ್ಗಳ ಒಪ್ಪಂದವಾಗಿದೆ ಲಾಕ್ ಹೀಡ್ ಮಾರ್ಟಿನ್ ಈವರೆಗೂ ಅಮೆರಿಕದ ವಾಯುಪಡೆಗೆ ಸ್ಟೆಲ್ಟ್ ಫೈಟರ್ ಜೆಟ್ಗಳನ್ನು ತಯಾರಿಸಿಕೊಟ್ಟಿದೆ ಚೀನಾದ ಅತ್ಯಾಧುನಿಕ ಯುದ್ಧ ವಿಮಾನ ಜೆ ತರ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಇದು ಉತ್ತರ ಅಂತಲೇ ವಿಶ್ಲೇಷಿಸಲಾಗ್ತಿದೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಜನರೇಷನ್ ಏರ್ ಡಾಮಿನೆನ್ಸ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುರ್ ಲೀಡರ್ಶಿಪ್ ಯುರ್ ಕ್ಲಾರಿಟಿ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಅಮೆರಿಕಾ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ಜನರೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಆಫ್ 
because of this sixth generation fighter. We've had the F-15, we have the, had the F-16, the F-18, the F-22, the F-35. Now we have the F-47, which sends a very direct, clear message to our ally, allies that we're not going anywhere and to our enemies that we, can, we will be able to project power around the globe unimpeded for generations to come. Mr. President, this is a gift uh, to my kids and your kids, to my grandkids and your grandkids. This is a historic investment in the American military, in the American industrial base, in American industry that will help revive the warrior ethos inside our military, which we're doing, rebuild our military, which the previous administration did not do, by the way, Mr. President. They paused this program and were prepared to potentially scrap it. We know this is cheaper, longer range, and more stealthy. President Trump said we're reviving it and we're doing it. Uh, and then we are also going to reestablish deterrence. Under the previous administration, we looked like fools. Not anymore. President Trump has reestablished American leadership. The F-47 is part of it. Uh, and Mr. President, thank you, thank you for having much. the courage to do it and leading the way for all our warfighters. Thank you very much, Pete. One of the things I, I will say, but the generals are, going to, generals are going to speak in just a couple of seconds, but this plane flies with drones. It flies with many, many drones, as many as you want. And it's a technology that's new, but it, uh, it doesn't fly by itself. It flies by, with many drones, as many as we want. And that's something that no other plane can do. So I'd like to introduce, if I might, Air Force Chief of Staff General David Alvin and also General Dale White, two incredible people that I've known over the years, but I got to know them really well over the last few months. And would you say a few words, please, General? Thank you very much, Mr. President. Mr. President, Mr. Secretary, uh, thank you so much for your uh, unwavering commitment to our military. Uh, I will say this is a big day. This is a big day for our United States Air Force as well. You know, air dominance is not a birthright, but it's become synonymous with American air power. But air dominance needs to be earned every single day. And since the earliest days of aerial warfare, brave American airmen have jumped into their machines, taken to the air, and they've cleared the skies. And whether that be clearing the skies so we can rain down destruction on our enemies from above, or we can clear the path for the ground forces below, that's been our commitment to the fight, and that's really been our promise to America. And with this F-47 as the crown jewel in the next generation air dominance family of systems, we're gonna be able to keep that promise well into the future. I also wanna thank everyone from industry and within government, our engineers, who have put worked tirelessly on this program to bring it where we are right now today. This shows that American talent, American skill, and American determination are second to none because this platform is second to none. So we believe that this provides more lethality it provides more capability, more modernized capability in a way that is built to adapt. This, along with our collaborative combat aircraft, the President talked about with drones, this is allowing us to look into the future and unlock the magic that is human machine teaming. And as we do that, we're gonna write the next generation of modern aerial warfare with this. This enables us to do this. The manner in which we put this program together puts more control in the hands of the government so we can update and adapt at the speed of relevance, at the speed of technology, not at the speed of bureaucracy. This is more Air Force. This is more options for the President. We say as our mission in the United States Air Force is to fly, fight, and win air power anytime, anywhere. If you want to go anywhere, you have to have a platform that gets you anywhere. This provides the President op options from the very one end, which is a quick response and then we can get right back into fighting stance without having to deploy troops that are going to take maybe months and cost more lives. We can be back in fighting stance and maybe restore that deterrence. All the way to decisive victory as part of a joint force that is the most lethal and capable military ever known in history. That's what we provide now and this provide, allows us to provide it into the future. It's more deterrence, more capability. It's what peace through strength looks like in the future, Mr. President. And so we're very proud to do that. And all we can say is on behalf of the United States Air Force, let's deliver. Thank you very much. Thank you, General.